Hello there, good afternoon to you. It's looking windy through the rest of today. We're looking at gusts of around 30 to 40 miles per hour with plenty of cloud lingering. Hello there. Well, the big day is drawing ever closer. Still a couple of days to get through and through the course of this weekend, it looks rather cloudy. Some patchy rain at times and some blustery winds too. So feeling a little fresh despite the mild conditions. This waving frontal system moving uncertainly south and eastwards, but it will bring a spell of rain for just about all parts of southern England through the day. The good news is that things do look a bit drier and brighter as we head into Boxing Day. Bye-bye. Joe's in Leeds for us tonight. And, um, and Joe, apparently you're on um, what's called the city's best decorated streets, aren't you? It's pretty good, actually, Charlene. It's lovely. If you weren't quite in the festive spirit yet, a visit to Stonebridge Lane in Leeds will get you feeling really Christmassy. Over the last six years, residents here have raised thousands of pounds for local charities from all the visitors that come here during December to look at the beautiful lights. And it's quite blustery this evening, but really busy. It's dry for the time being. And today, of course, has been the winter solstice our shortest day of the year. Visitors to Stonehenge enjoying it all at sunrise this morning. The solstice itself occurred at 3.27 a.m. And from tomorrow, very gradually, our days will start to get a little bit longer again, but we won't really notice it for a while. Now, if you're starting to think about Christmas Day itself and getting out and about, I do have to warn you there's plenty of weather arriving, particularly across England and Wales. A system will move in during the day, bringing rain and rather blustery winds for many parts of the country. Further north in Scotland, cold air will dig in and we will see some sleet and snow at higher and lower levels during the day. So there's the real possibility of a white Christmas, particularly for central parts of Scotland, Christmas Day, that cold air beginning to dig into the north of England, but it's very unlikely many of us will see any snow further south. Now let's take a look at the details for this weekend. Quite a few weather warnings in place tonight across parts of Shetland and northeast Scotland. We are going to see sleet, snow and ice and that will continue through into the early hours of tomorrow. Elsewhere, England, Wales, Northern Ireland, a little milder, blustery showers through the course of the weekend and temperature wise it feels mild in the run up to Christmas. very much to Joe for Lots that. Lots of weather Thank around you. over the next few days. Take care. Oh, we just kept missing each other, but thanks very much, Joe, for that. It looks like being less of a white Christmas, more of a mild Christmas, Incredibly really. Incredibly mild. Could be the mildest Christmas Eve on record. We need to beat 15.6 that was set in 1931. This has been the scene today. Quite a lot of cloud around, some breaks here and there. But generally speaking, this weather front is the dividing line between some cold air with some snow showers in the north of Scotland. A lot of cloud, but very mild further south of that frontal system so if you want to make plans this is the forecast some rain around on christmas day sunnier but cooler by boxing day as said louise thanks very much and a merry christmas to you hello there full christmas forecast coming up in just a moment first of all i thought we'd start off with these rare nacreous clouds that are once again being spotted overhead in the uk these form really high in the earth's atmosphere between 13 and 19 miles above the ground. That's two or three times the height at which aeroplanes fly at. And you need temperatures in this part of the atmosphere to be at minus 78 Celsius or even colder. Normally that really cold air is concentrated around our polar regions, but right now it's moved a bit further southwards and it's cold enough across the UK for the next week or two to see some of these rare clouds. Best chance before sunrise or just after sunset. So eyes to the skies.